guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the Talking Shed. Today, I'm down here talking about the latest version of our S2S row unit. Uh, we did a video just the other day showing cover crop growing in a cornfield that was planted in uh, June of 2022. And uh, now I'm showing you a video of our, the latest edition of our S2S units. I'm gonna jump up, turn this thing around, and we'll dive into it. So in the past, all of these blades were mounted on a rigid gang. We had a shaft that ran all the way through this chassis and we had a uh, bolt basically that ran through with a nut on the other end. Well, what we found we could do is just use uh, the new Yetter bearing and laser out a D-bolt and we can mount two blades per downward uh, inner uh, bushing so that we're running four blades. We don't need the shaft that runs through. Another difference that you can probably see is that we're running an actual blade now, whereas in the past we were running the shark tooth Yetter blades. We found that just this slight ripple uh, provides a little bit more uh, ground disturbance uh, so that we can get better seed to soil contact, crack open that um, crust a little bit better. So they're a lot easier to work on. They're a lot easier to maintain and change blades or bearings if you were to ever have to. Here's one completed here that you can see a view from the side. Some other changes we've made is we've got this row cleaner front mount bracket. Um, if you ever wanted to mount row cleaners on here, you could just uh, mount those row cleaners right out front. Um, so that's pretty dang handy as well. We've also changed our rolling basket. We went to large beefier round bar and uh, we also beefed up the bearing on that rolling basket to handle that heavier uh, roller. So overall, a beefier unit up top, we still uh, have got pretty much all the same components, hydraulic down pressure, parallel linkage chassis. Uh, we mainly changed how the blades mount, the bearings that we use, and the blades. Those are some of the bigger changes uh, that we've done here on this S2S unit. Here's another side view of a, of a row unit showing those blades. That's a uh, Easy to replace the blade, easy to replace the bearing, as you can see. Um, just a, a lot neater unit um, that is a lot more versatile, and uh, we learn more every time we get them in the field. But I feel very good about this unit that we've got here, doing away with that shaft. That was very expensive, and it made it a little bit hard to work on if you ever needed to replace blades or bearings. So. This particular bar here is uh, basically gonna have seven uh, S2S units on it. This is a pretty sweet bar. Cody sold this one. Uh, it's designed so that it can be a pole type uh, to transport down the road. You can see the transport tires right here. So a lot of old uh, DMI bars were kind of designed like this so that you could move them easily down the road, but it's gonna be used in the field as a three-point bar. So pretty slick. Um, of course, we're gonna mount that red cover crop seeder on top of here uh, once all those S2S units are done. So that'll be a pretty sweet unit here when we're done. So that's what we're doing today, talking more and more about our S2S row units.